Introducing the new BL40, that is the new LG Chocolate, uh, our amazing first widescreen handset, which will give you an 800 by 345 resolution, which is HD light resolution. Okay, so the handset actually has amazing new capabilities in terms of connectivity. So one of the first things you'll notice, it actually has uh, 3G plus or HSDPA up to 7.2 in terms of download speed. Um, denoted using the 3G in the top corner of the handset. Uh, the handset also has Wi-Fi, GPS, or AGPS, which is pretty standard, as well as DLNA, which allows you to seamlessly synchronize with other uh, devices that actually have DLNA capability. Right, with the amazing BL40 chocolate, uh, you'll be able to see all your movies and videos in widescreen. Uh, it's got an amazing 800 by 345 uh, resolution. And as I'm going through my, my video menu here, I'll be able to bring up a, a video for you to see how crisp and clear that is. All right, so just loading up my video now. Turn it landscape. You've got a brilliant 21 by nine ratio, which is a cinematic ratio that you actually see in your cinemas. Together with that, you actually have Dolby surround sound. You've also got three and a half mil jack, which will allow you to deliver that Dolby surround sound, giving you very crisp, very clear, as well as all around sound for your headset. Um, one of the things that will actually be introduced on the handset, you'll actually have force feedback on either end of the handset. So with things like um, when the handset actually has uh, EA games like Need for Speed, you'll be able to feel the vibration dual shock controls as you're moving it along. However, at the moment, what you do have, if I go into my games and applications, yeah. I've got a, a list of games here, one of them being Asphalt 4, which I can go into, and it'll deliver the game in widescreen as well. I'll be able to use the browser to actually see in its rich, in Facebook in its rich glow. Like that, go into Facebook. Okay. So you can actually save it as a as a as a favorite on, onto the one of the home screens that you actually have on the handset, which I'll actually do now, and so you can actually see it as a okay. save. So one of the home screens, you've actually got all your favorite links. Um, so I'm going to say Facebook is my favorite link on my home page. There you, you see a little thumbnail basically of Facebook there. Hit OK. So if I hit that thumbnail, it allows me to open the Facebook page straight away or whether it be MySpace, Bebo, you'll be able to get on this very, very easily once you've actually saved it as a bookmark. Dream screen functionality. The key thing that you can actually use it with is your text messages. Um, a lot of the times, obviously, you want to see a lot of your text messages um, and who you've actually received them. Um, so I can turn the handset into landscape. Um, here I can actually see uh, the names of the people that I've actually received messages from. However, if I actually indicate on the um, name of the person, I'll be able to see the message in the actual second screen. That's one of the key things that you can actually do with dual screen, as well as obviously through music and other, other areas, as well as calendar, that's another area you can use dual screen in as well.